Well, here it is. The cartoon has started my descent into madness. Hey guys, it's your main man D Dub Man here, and uh, Warner Over Yonder couldn't be the one to count to three. Here to bring you my review of Ren and Stimpy from Teen Nick. Uh, I meant Nickelodeon. Oh, what I'm gonna do to you. But before we get started with this, we'll have to get a chance to mention this as well. And if YouTube plays their cards right, we'll probably be able to show a little of this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? On August 11, 1991, Ren and Stippy debuted along with Doug and the Rugrats as the original three Nicktoons of Nickelodeon. And our boy John Chris Belusky is the mind behind all the madness. Damn, this dude looks damn near 60 years old, over here looking like he's in his mid-20s. He probably has that Pharrell disease. Oh, and fun fact, he's also the voice of anger-driven dog Ren. So again, since this is a cartoon, I would be basing off of the animation main plot and nostalgia format again like i did in the last review <laughs> click here uh, on this annotation if you want to <laughs> catch a glimpse of that oh and remember guys i was born in 1586 so i couldn't catch out the show when it originally aired till 1995 but boy did i catch some shit on spike and without further ado let's get started with the animation Stippy's animation doesn't differ from the pilot in the early seasons of the show. Actually, the show always references the pilot considering the fact that the whole entire thing is the intro to the entire series. I'm not mad or anything, but watching reruns of the show on Nicktoons really pissed me off due to the fact that I was trying to catch those episodes that was in the intro, and they never aired it. So it, it it's, it's pretty weird. Yeah, I don't know. Moving on though, the show is produced by Spiumco, where their slogan was, the Danes call it quality but sadly it closed due to a lawsuit file against the company but their art style is tasteful for people of all ages it gives off a golden age cartoon feel with some cartoon examples being uh takes avery while blending out with slight gags like the traditional media like beavis and butthead also the guys who made it are from canada so there's that credibility as well in the later seasons of the show, it was produced by Game Animation, who are now known as Nickelodeon Animation Studio, which produces every Nick cartoon now known to man. Where's the Loud House film? I wanna fuck that- They slowly made the transition to digital after that, which isn't a big deal, I mean, it still looked good. It's just that it doesn't have that early 90s glossy filter like the traditional animation did. But at least the background stayed the same. Oh, and if the music in the show sounds familiar, Spongebob also used it for their show. A lot of it for their show. Except for Happy Happy Joy Joy, that's their shit. Speaking of reusing things, a lot of Ren and Stimpy's gag habits revolve around using old animation. From their outros, to their product placements. There's nothing wrong with reusing stuff. Hell, I do it all the time just to conserve work. But these guys make up for it by adding a little extra dialogue and animation just to spice things up a little. Overall, the animation is alright to me. But the other viewers of this era, <coughs> Tumblr, they might not cope with it. Due to the center attention always being the characters and not the backgrounds to stand out. It has more of a wallpaper feel actually. So, my final verdict on animation is 8 out of 10. Considering the fact that this is a cartoon, and just a cartoon, I will try and keep things simple for the plot. 
Ren and Stimpy is a show about the always pissed Chihuahua Ren Hoek and his beloved dumbass sidekick Stimson J. Cat, or Stimpy for short. They live in a trailer. Good shit happens to Stimpy, bad shit happens to Ren. One episode they're rich, next episode they're broke. You see the pattern here? This cartoon is throwing all cliches into one pot, stirring that shit up a little, a little oregano, stir that shit up again, and BAM! Chemical X out of nowhere. This is where the jokes come in. And I'm not lying to you when I say that if this show was to air today on Nick, it wouldn't even get past the pilot. Every innuendo flies over your head like 9-11. Let's play seek and hide! Okay! 9-11 Okay! And it's not just enjoyable for kids, neither. Adults can laugh at this shit. And that's just not an understatement. This shit is actually that good. The Simpsons ain't got shit on this show. And I say that with a little remorse. South Park is insulting to put in the same category as this cartoon. Just forget it. Get it! Main plot gets unwashed later hosing out of 10. Happy, happy, happy. Joy, joy, joy. As for nostalgia, this cartoon has just nothing but a passing glance and was for seeking a new episode at the time. But when 2003 came around and Spike Reboot was announced, I was all ears. This shit aired on the same network as WWE at the time, so this was like a double win. Wrestling and cartoons, back to back, sign me the fuck up. My poor little kid psyche wasn't affected by the show's raunchy format at the time due to the fact that I was probably like mentally autistic like every other kid during that era. But the show shortly lived barely three months and aired only six episodes in the process before getting cut after Spike's animation block discontinued. Which is way shorter than its original run from August 11, 1991 to December 16, 1995, making five seasons in the process. More than any other animated series that's on Nickelodeon right now, besides Spongebob, which is currently on its ninth season. All in all, I'm grateful enough to have watched Brendan Stippy on Nicktoons back when it was popping, and I thoroughly enjoyed this show. And for that, I'm getting nostalgia 9 out of 10, because they didn't air all the episodes. And with that, that concludes my review of Ren and Stimpy. Be sure to catch it currently on Teen Nick when it's on. Hey guys, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe for more shenanigans, and stay tuned to Vibe to the Beat.